Hi there guys, my name is Alex with Charlottesville Headlight Restoration. We wanted to make a short video that shows the basics of what exactly goes into a professional headlight restoration. Today we're working on a 2003 PT Cruiser that had a moderate amount of hazing. As you can see, we've taped off the area to protect the paint. We now begin our four-step wet sanding process that will remove all traces of oxidation and hazing from the lens. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit because we have quite a bit of wet sanding to do. But while we wait on that, I'll give a brief explanation of why wet sanding is necessary. In the late 80s, vehicle manufacturers began switching from glass headlights to polyacrylic lenses. This increased safety because they weren't as likely to shatter on impact. However, they are much more prone to hazing and oxidation caused by UV radiation. The vehicle manufacturers attempt to delay this process by applying a UV sealant to the lens. However, that sealant is just 0 .003, that's three thousandths of a millimeter thick. As this thin layer of sealant is exposed to weather and general wear and tear, it begins to break down and fail. The yellowing that you see on your lens is actually that sealant and the plastic beneath being exposed to UV radiation and oxidizing. In order for the headlight to be restored for the full clarity, it's critical that this old material be removed. This is why wet sanding is the first step of any professional headlight restoration process. It's worth noting that many of the kits available in auto parts stores do not contain any abrasives. This makes it impossible to remove the oxidation, and that means that you won't have a well-restored lens. Another thing that all of these kits lack is a way to apply a new UV sealant. If you think about it, the problem that you're having with your lens is UV radiation causing damage. So without a new UV sealant, no matter how good the lenses appear to look, it'll be right back to the same yellowed and oxidized state within a month or two. Here we begin removing the masking tape and cleaning the lens in preparation for the new UV sealant. Now we apply the new UV sealant. This has the added benefit of filling in any marks left over from sanding and ensures that the restoration will last for years to come. This marks the end of our restoration process. As you can see, the lens has regained its original clarity and shine. For more information, pictures, and videos, you can check us out at SeavilleHeadlights.com. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.